Hi guys, I'm Stuart for Outdoor Basics and today I'm going to be talking about the Hultifers Heavy Duty. If you jump on to our uh, Facebook page, it's just Outdoor Basics, um, you'll see how I modified the sheath of the knife to make it a more practical thing, but today I just want to talk about the knife itself. Um, it's, it's got a much larger handle uh, than, a, than a normal Hultifers and I, I, I like that. Um, I like to feel that I've got a hold of a knife, I don't like to feel that I can barely get a grip of it. I, 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 I feel that it's got a, a good fit in the hand, I just like the way it, it sits. I also like that it's got quite a, a big finger sort of guard there, it can be quite forgiving. So if anybody's new to bushcraft, not only is this a cheaper knife, um, I feel it's a more forgiving knife. Yeah, so the blade itself is a, a carbon steel blade, it, it's quite short. It's not the longest blade in the world, but again, I think that's better for it, especially if you're a beginner in bushcraft, you don't want anything too big. Um, you know, smaller, easier to handle. Um, it does it does have a 90 degree spine, and it throws sparks. I'll give it a try on this ferro rod here. It does throw sparks reasonably well. Yeah, it throws, it throws sparks reasonably well. So yeah. Um, unlike Amora, you don't need to modify the spine yourself. It, it, it does, it does have a, a ninety degree spine. So all we're going to do is just try some mega simple, uh, mega simple sort of camp tasks. It's not the, it's not too big a bit of wood to batten with. So we'll see how this goes. We'll give battening a try with this. Same as normal when you're battening, get yourself out the way, um, hold the knife in your weaker hand, and use the your stronger hand to direct the blows onto the back of the blade. Yeah, absolutely no problem at all. Again. Yeah, so, test number one, battening, absolutely no problem. I think that was a reasonable size piece of wood to batten with. I wouldn't want to go much bigger with a knife anyway. I, I, I don't understand why people are massively into, I'll just move that over there, are into battening huge bits of wood with a knife. If you need to cut it down, process it with a saw and an axe, battening a reasonable size piece of, of wood with a knife is completely acceptable. Ready. Um, so we've seen that with a 90 degree spine, 90 degree spine rather, um, it'll throw sparks. So let's just see if using the back of, back of the spine, it'll, it'll give me some decent scrapings off this fat wood. There we go. Oh, that didn't go well. It's maybe not the best, but I think it's just about finding the angle and kind of getting used to it, but yeah, I would say that's okay. So let's see if it can throw some sparks on it. There we go. Not bad. And then, uh, so yeah, started to feather. It's not really the best wood for it, but that was fine. Chuck sparks, no problem. Scrape to fat wood, no problem. Battened, no problem. Filed the wood down, no problem. Then let's just see how it's a reasonable paracord. Let's see how it handles this. Yeah, no problem at all. Simple. No pressure at all. 
at the top end of the blade. I'm not a fan of doing this, but people seem to like it, so it's fairly hard wood. I'll just test the tip. Yeah, no problem. No problem. So after a bit of battening, uh, getting some a bit of basic feather stick, scraping the fat wood, the ferrocium rod, uh, and cutting the paracord. I'm going to try one more time of batten and see if it's dulled at any, and we'll see how we go. So two secs. So yeah, one last attempt at batten and here we go. Get that in my weaker hand. Let's see it. No problem. So yeah, uh, Hultifer's Heavy Duty. For £8, I don't think you can get a better knife. Um, absolutely fantastic wee bit of kit. Uh, we've been using it over the weekend, it just needs a wee bit of a clean up. Um, and then yeah, um, if you look after it, it's going to look after you. It throws sparks, it was scraped to fatwood, feather sticking, battening, cutting paracord, tip test. Yeah, it seems to it just covered all of them, no problem at all. It's not so much as a review, just as a wee look see, because I'm already really happy with a knife, I like the knife. Um, and I think if, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't grumble at spending eight quid on that again. Mm -hmm. Top bit of kit. As always, I've been Stuart, you have been awesome. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks.